Hi friends! Welcome to day three of Advent. Day three of Advent is going to be one of the questions that you all brought to me through either Instagram or the community tab here on YouTube. So let's read the question and I'll get you an answer. Today's question comes from Brittany's bookshelf and her question was how do you get through a writing and or reading slump? I would say getting through a reading slump is definitely easier for me than a writing slump because if I'm in a writing slump I just don't write and I don't attempt to get out of it because I'm a horrible human being. All right. But I would imagine that if you're in a writing slump, you really just need that creativity boost. So maybe the same would apply for both, I'm assuming. So when I am in a reading slump and when I just don't feel like reading and I just have no desire to pick a book up, whether it's because I'm in a book hangover or because I just haven't read anything that I've enjoyed recently so I'm just kind of on the blah aspect of it. The one thing that I have found that will always bring me out of a reading slump is reading an old favorite. Occasionally it can be something that I've read recently that I really enjoyed but preferably something that I've read multiple times. Harry Potter series, Shadowhunters, or a semi-definitive list of worst nightmares by Crystal Sutherland is always brings me out of a reading slump. There's definitely um, like I, I definitely have a list of things that I know if I'm just feeling kind of blah about reading that I can pick up one of those books, read it again, and it just sets everything straight. I also think something that helps with this is audiobooks. If you can listen to an audiobook, some people can, some people can't. Yes, listening to an audiobook is reading. Let's not be ableist about it. Audiobooks also can help because it kind of is like forcing you to take in the information. You don't get, have the choice to not continue reading the page. So that also will help if you're trying to read a specific book and you just don't feel like it. I have done that before where I'll turn on an audiobook that is a, a book that I wasn't enjoying reading physically. I'll turn the audiobook on, do something like laundry or dishes or something around the house, and I'll find that I do end up enjoying the story, usually. Sometimes a bad story is a bad story. But thank you, Brittany, for the question. I hope that helped you out. If anybody else has any other ideas of how to help with a reading and or writing slump, drop them in the comments below. That way Brittany can get some more answers as well. As it is day three, we're gonna pull number three from our advent and we are going to see who we're going to shout out today. My hands are very flappy today. If you missed uh, the first couple of days of Advent, what I am doing is I am highlighting some creators that I follow on YouTube that are under a thousand subs. Advent is all about the gift of giving and because I'm a broke ass white girl and I can't afford to give you all things, I have decided to use my platform to lift up those who I enjoy watching and hopefully get some of you to watch them as well. Day three is KT's Creative Escape aka Katie. Uh, KT's Creative Escape is a planning channel. I have found her probably within the last couple of months. She has some videos on vision boards and what I really like are her special pages. So she also does plan with me's for like the regular weekly and monthly, but she also will do setup pages for special pages like um, most recently she uploaded one for a Christmas movie page to do like a checklist for all of the Christmas movies that you're watching. Um, but there's some other things on there as well. And I personally, because I am kind of burnt out on plan with me's, I really enjoy watching the setup of different types of videos. So Katie's been putting out those and I really enjoy watching those. And if you enjoy planning videos, Maybe you'll enjoy Katie's channel as well. She will be linked both in the description box below as well as in the cards so that you can check her out. That is all I have for today. Make sure that if you don't want to miss anything that I have going on in the future, including the rest of Advent, that you click that subscribe button down below. And I don't know, if you're feeling froggy, maybe hit the alert button so that you'll get a notification every time I post a new video as they say. You can also hit the like button because when you hit it, it changes colors. I promise you could try it out. You hit it, blue. If you're colorblind, I don't know what color it goes, but for the rest of us with the regular vision spectrum, blue. Look out for a new video tomorrow and until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!